To Trapped of the Bird Cage, the show that's also on Thursdays. Um, <laughs> uh, how is everyone? We're all here. How fun! I'm dying. Is this the how first fun! This season, all four of the cast first people game, are here. No, maybe. <laughs> I, I think it is. Yay! Wait, did oh, you get quiet, is... Chad? Are you he... talk? Oh, maybe I lead oh, the way. Oh Hello? yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to kick you out. Oh, hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Uh, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be man. our first time together. Guys, this is our Infinity War. I'm really excited. Our... Um, yeah, so welcome, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back, Chad. Um, who And Jimmy, yes. Um, you guys missed the last episode, so I'm going to give you... Yes. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not going to give you a recap. I was going to give you a recap. I watched the whole thing. Oh, so did you? I know it. I, yeah, I, I told. To yeah, I did. Okay, but you were unconscious. And you did so... a great job. Thank you. Well, Saturn... Saturn was unconscious, but I loved every second. Okay, good. <laughs> um, well, where we left off is, uh, you are all traveling on a ship on the astral plane, and uh, the ship's name, if I recall, was the Fulbright. So you are traveling on the Fulbright. So it's a large ship with about twenty, twenty to twenty-five crew members and the astral plane is a shifting strange mass of lights and what look like stars and planets and gases and crags and pretty much chaos it looks like a shifting mass of chaos um and it's it's really it's really alien to all of you even though you just came from sigil this place is even more alien now saturn and reader you have been unconscious for quite some time after the jailbreak <laughs> Yes. Um, and uh, you both wake up in the brig of this ship. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> so you're locked in the brig at current. And uh, Will and Nejma, you are sleeping in your own quarters. But the crew right now is up top on deck trying to work and continuing to... Um, to bring the ship into port. You know that it's been a few, it's probably been about a week and you're, you've gotten to know the crew at Basin well enough. And uh, he informed you to stay below deck while the crew um, sets the ship up to, ha to go into port of what he calls the Hand Bazaar. You thought he said Grand Bazaar, but it actually was Hand Bazaar. Do we know yes. anything about that? Like, do they sell hands there? Um, you're not sure? He, no, everyone was kind of vague about it. Um, but well, yeah, I so wanna... you're now under uh, below deck. The crew is not there. The crew is above deck. But you were told to stay there while you go into port because it can be dangerous dealing with the local color. Well, Saturn just wakes up screaming because <laughs> the last thing <laughs> that he remembers happening was drowning in body parts, right? right? Yeah. So he's just... He just starts screaming and like sits up and is hyperventilating. <laughs> I, I think reader is well. Let me ask: How many body parts do I have? How many limbs? Oh, you have all what of them. qualifies as a body yeah. part? Yeah, you know, um, they're all there. Uh, let's say a major limb. Um, you have most of your limbs. You're missing one leg, and where the leg was, there's a skull crammed into the leg socket. I don't know how that got there, by the way. Weird. Yeah, I because I think last time, like same like with same with Saturn. The last thing I think Reed remembers is climbing in a barrel with Saturn, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh and then just going like I think just Saturn looks or Reader looks at his arm and just like I feel I feel like I did, the rest of the team did something. <laughs> what? Saturn just looks at Reader's missing leg and like frantically checks his own just to make sure that they're both still there. And they are, right? Please say yes. Yes, no, Saturn, you okay, have all great. of your limbs. Um, but you do have this sinking <laughs> feeling that you might have missed someone to hit on. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, Saturn, sure, watching it, he would not have gotten involved in whatever straight nonsense. <laughs> Real quick, fair, let, fair. Let, let those two lovebirds have their, have their fair, fair. enchanted tail. Real quick, um, I think Reader tries to, like, 
like muscle memory move his leg and just like is see if like there's like a like a phantom limb thing where I can like feel it moving anywhere. Um, I don't have like remote control of my limbs wherever it is. No, you don't have that ability. Uh, okay. You're disappointed, <laughs> most likely that you <laughs> I'm don't. Disappointed. Um, but you can you can easily like stand yourself up, but you have to hop on one leg until you can find a replacement. Sure, I. Uh, so your movement what, speed like, is going to be de- decreased by ten. What? Oh, oh my. What? What? Saturn, <laughs> Saturn just looks at Reader and he's just like, "So what happened there? <laughs> What's the uh, story behind can, that?" I want to examine the skull that's in my leg. Okay. Uh, and like, see, is it a human? I'm really concerned. Like, whose whose head is attached yeah. to my body? So. Um, you recognize it as the skull they stole from your neighbor's house. Oh, good, good. Now I'm part of a, a theft as well. Okay. Is <laughs> that your book of crimes? Yeah. I, do, do I have my book of crimes? Is it still with me? Is it still like a- Oh, did someone take that? No, you do have it, yes. Okay, I still got my stuff, cool. Yeah, you do have your book of crimes. Uh, can we see, like, is there like a port window or anything to look out and just like see where we are? Um, mostly, uh, there's no there's no areas where you were where you are right now. You, there's no windows or anything like that. Um, but what you can do is, uh, I mean, you can't get out of the brig. They actually locked you in. You don't really know why. But Will and Nejma, you have the key to the brig. You just have to go down and let them out. Okay. I think I go. Saturn, did you take my leg? I did not take your leg. I did not take. I did, that's it. I, I did not okay. take your leg. I think Saturn. I think Reader believes. Okay. Okay, but I'm watching you. I have two legs. <laughs> I don't need a third. I'm good. You are the one who needs the leg. Let's get you that leg. Yeah. So I, I honestly, I think like just for a rope to be a weird robot thing. Like I don't think I try to walk on two legs. I think I just go to like crab walk mode. <laughs> okay. Like I think I just like bend. <laughs> bend back like a, mm-hmm. like a like a monster from silent hill and i just kind of walk on okay on, uh saturn's gonna legs. offer reader his crowbar as a peg leg. <laughs> um yeah you can try i mean it, it's a little short like you're missing like the whole, whole leg not just the bottom half oh yeah that's true well we can like <laughs> we, it, we uh hey reader yeah um just for the convenience of me not having to help you get everywhere with your one leg um let's go find will and see if we can uh put these crowbars together and get you some kind of prosthetic peg leg thing going for the time being so yeah i think we're rattling the bars right like there's yeah. or, or whatever it is we're just like hello yeah good sirs hello um, will and nejma give me a perception check to see if you can hear the hear reader rattling the bars i heard samson I heard Sam's I had to close another door. A bird. I got 16. Okay. I got um 17. Nice. Okay, yeah. You both hear um you both hear reader's distress, which you're at this point very familiar with. Um <laughs> but what you also hear is uh, or you notice as well is that um Will, you notice this. The ship has stopped moving. You've kind of noticed like a sway from the astral plane that, that you've gotten used to over the past few days, but it's stopped. You don't feel it anymore. Can I ask a nearby crew member? There, why? there are no crew members down below. They told you to stay under, stay pretty much stay hidden until they dealt with um, the merchants that are in this bazaar. So, did they tell us why to stay hidden? Um, they did not. Hmm. But I'm sure that Mason would have given you a good explanation as to, and Will would have believed him, <laughs> perhaps, as to why it, it was for your own safety, more or less. Because she begrudgingly believes him. Yeah, she doesn't. That guy's out, out, uh, out perceiving her, and she doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, so she, I don't know. She'll put her put her hand to the the wall and be like, "Do you guys feel that?" You've stopped. (laughs) 
is there like a porthole or anything out the window? No, like a, a not where window. you not where you guys are. You guys are pretty right. much there in the brig, which is the bottom deck, and you're just like in steerage, the one like above that. Cool. So it's really cramped, really dark. It's not wet because it's obviously you're not in water. If it if you were in the water, it would be disgusting. Um, we're all together right now. No, they they heard you on the bars, oh. so you guys can go down the stairs. There's a small little ladder in the middle of the quarters where you can go down to the brig and let Reader and and um, Saturn out. Oh, do, do we see them? Do you guys oh, go uh, down? Uh, yeah. Let's. Um, Nejma will turn to Will and be like, "I guess we should let them out." Can we hear are, them I mean, say that? No. <laughs> are there any like pros and cons that we should probably consider? Because I mean, like once we let them out, we can't put them back in. You know. As you guys are talking, I think you hear Will. Uh, you hear Reader go like, "Miss, Miss Will, I'm, I'm scared." Uh, <laughs> Nejma feels bad. She would like uh, to. Uh, fine. Okay. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> Totally didn't mean to lock you in there. We're, did did we do a crime? Yes, uh, you were annoying to me. <laughs> you know. Wow. <laughs> do you do you feel like you did a crime? I, yeah. Did I, you? I feel like someone must have punished me by taking my leg. I must have done something to deserve it. Oh. Tanner, just like at this point, what haven't we done? <laughs> <laughs> Like, come on, we were talking about us here, the, the fantastic foursome. Fair. This psychology is too real, but Will likes it. So Will is like, hmm, well, if you feel guilty, you probably did something bad. We have a book of crimes, Will. We have a book of crimes. Open the gate. <laughs> does, um, Holly, does Rita remember being taken by... Yeah, I was curious. Um, yeah, does remember no so reader you were you were somehow knocked out by this small um monodrone that you think must have known some kind of uh like kill switch in you that only your father would have known interesting yeah like a like a like a like a kill command yeah or... um and if your crew tells you i don't know if they're going to tell you what they saw <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm, I'm I'm waiting for someone to be like, yo, we met things. There were major character revelations for you, and I'm expecting nothing. Like I'm expecting. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna tell you what they saw or what or. I mean, I feel like Nejma would say something, but not know the significance. Mm. Are Is we still okay? in the jail? No, no, you're out now. They let you out. You're out. Now. Okay, I was just like, guys. <laughs> Open the door. Yeah, you're out. You're out. Um, you're fine. Where, where are Saturn? We? Yeah. Yeah. Saturn also is just like, where are we? Last I remember, we were in a in a barrel in a in a jail, and now we're in another jail of different construction. Nejma, uh, like motions to the whole boat, and she's like, "Yeah, we're in Will's new boyfriend's horrible spaceship." Look, you yeah, know how home. many. You know how many boyfriends I have and how much money it's made me? So, like, let's chill out on the accusatory tone. Miss Will, you've had a gentleman suitor and not told us. I hate her boyfriend. <laughs> okay, why are we going directly to the boyfriend and not the fact that we're in a flying ship? Why was that not? We're in a flying ship? Why was that <laughs> not the part that you... Yeah, there was a dragon and stuff. It was... I killed it. <laughs> she did not kill it. What? I it think was I remember that effort. I did. I thought I remembered a, that. It was a group effort. What what sort of dragon was it? Space <laughs> dragon. It was an astral astral dragon. It was an asshole dragon. An That's asshole. what I heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> that too. <laughs> Sorry, Hasbro. Um, hold on. So you hear you hear you hear someone c coming down the ladder, um, into into the brig. And you recognize it as the pink-haired gnome, um, uh, Lily, who is his, who is Mason's uh, sort of new first mate ever since he lo he lost his last one to the Mercy Killers. Um, and she sees that you're all having a wonderful reunion and sort of like fixes her her hair. She looks a little stressed out, and she's like, "Oh, it's good to see that your friends are awake. Hello, H hello." Uh... Who are you? Uh, I am Lily. Uh, I am just here to deliver a message from Mason. 
before uh, we depart on shore. And she uh, hands she hands it to you, Will, the letter. Mm-hmm. And she says, uh, please read it to your crew, and I will see you above deck. And she just goes back up. Okay. Um, will, like, holds it to herself like this, and she's like, excuse me. <laughs> Reader just turns and looks at the other wall. Just <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> thank you, chat, for calling me out. Yes, I really like gnomes and tieflings. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so as you you're reading the letter, Will, I will read it out loud to you. It says, "To my crowbar crew," <laughs> in Mason's accent, which I'm not going to do more than that. Um, it says, uh, "Had to take off family stuff back on the material plane. A uh, brother might have finally done something to get himself killed by the light. I leave you with this. I leave you with this task: a rescue mission of sorts. This is a map to the." to the avatar of a world in the prime material. She is also the portal key. Find her, send her home. Do not let the mercy killers take her. The Fulbright is yours for now until I see you again. Remember, you can't hurt sunshine, Mason. He gave us the shit. Did Will read that out loud? I mean, she can't No, now. she just said we she just gave us, us he shit. gave us uh, the okay. shit. Okay, okay. That's a wonderful gift. Uh, was just like, I hate this. <laughs> this so much crash i told you it's um, beneficial to have boyfriends also you notice as you unfold it a, something falls out of it and it's kind of like what a uh, strange like thin material sort of like like this like kind of like a something you might use to wipe your hands on and it's got it's just got like some gross red substance on it maybe some yellow substance you don't know and uh it's got two golden arches on it God damn it! Are we going to McDonald's? If and I on one, on the other oh, side, I'm there's a drawn map. Spicy buffalo sauce right now. That is slaps. I love it. Is there a quest to get Szechuan sauce? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Is Mason saying that I get to go to McDonald's if I don't do my work? <laughs> so the letter said that it described someone that we needed to go find yeah it says i leave you with this i leave you with this task a rescue mission of sorts this is what the they were talking about the treasure um this is a map to the avatar of a world in the prime material she is also the portal key find her and send her home do not let the mercy killers take her which was your original task um the fulbright is yours for now uh Quick point of order question. Sets of instructions. Yeah. What, what do I? Sorry, just about my memory too. Like, what do I know about the prime material? Is this like, is this like another dimension? So the prime. I... You would actually give me a, okay. give me an. Uh, I guess it would be like a history check. Okay. Yeah. Not to like derail this whole. Thing. I'm just trying to like, get a bearing of where I am. Uh, that'd be a thirteen. Um, that's enough to know that the prime material are. It's pretty much a limitless amount of worlds. You would consider your world to be part of the prime material. Um, but you don't know how many worlds or what any other worlds. All you know is that that worlds such as yours would be considered prime material. OK, so I, I think I just have to, to ask. It's clearly anyone who's in need of help, we will help, because we are all heroes. But are we able to go home? Like, why have you guys not returned to your respective realms yet? I was thinking the same thing. Problem is, I don't know how to steal the ship or steer it. So we stole it because now it's ours <laughs> already. That's step one. Now step two is figuring out how to get other people to steer it to our oh. homes. Okay. All right. Hold on. Sorry, Doctor. To Archie getting mad. <laughs> Doesn't like Will's plan. So, <laughs> let him play. Let him play. <laughs> you guest star. Let you Archie star. speak. Let Archie speak. So, uh, if we, I would like to, first off, let's use the word uh, gifted rather than stole. Just just for me. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, he, I, when I said stole, what I meant was I would have stolen it if I could have, but I didn't have to because I charmed the heck out of that guy and he gave it to me. You could say you stole his heart. Right. So, fine. I just want to know, 
I'm I'm kind of touched that it seems like what you're really saying is that the three of you chose to help other people rather than immediately fleeing to your respective refuges. I'm really proud of all of you. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Serve all of the praise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, Thanks. Oh. Thanks for seeing that in me, yeah, exactly. reader. Course, you know, course. not a lot of people really understand me, but you do. Um, so who's the sunshine that we're helping? Oh, he just wrote that on. That's that was his. Uh, that's his catchphrase. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. It, nifty. I wish someday I'll have a catchphrase. <laughs> Maybe your catchphrase is nifty. <laughs> that's very Too late. that's very really yeah. <laughs> um now will you know from having spent a lot of time shadowing mason during this past week that there is a captain's quarters and you can mm -hmm. only assume that that would be yours now oh yeah so just <laughs> you mean my room <laughs> yeah so just so you know um whenever you're ready you can uh go above deck and see see where you're docked and see all, all of the the spoils of war, I suppose. So Saturn, uh, now, did Saturn already know like about this Avatar thing or no? Um, no. So you you missed. Um, actually, no, you were there when um, Factal Nilesia told you about what they wanted. They wanted the Avatar of a dead god, but what it turns out it's this Avatar is actually of a prime material world, and it's a portal key, and it's a person. <laughs> and it's what they want. Uh, so Saturn has been told all this. Yeah. Yeah. He just he's just like that. We have he's just it. like wow, that you guys, we got a lot to do. <laughs> we got a lot to do. I mean, we have a lot that we've been asked to do, and I'm just pointing out that we're all grown ups, and no one's the boss of us. That's very true. Nobody is the boss of me. And if... Except for that tiefling girl that told us we would die. Listen, uh, first of all, she's get a... that thing. She's a teenager, so she can't tell me what to do. I don't care if she made fun of my shoes. Yeah, also, but she got weapons. I was kind of convinced that she would kill us, though. That is fair. I mean, sure, but is being alive really so great anyway you know I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> let's make the plan of all dying and we'll see how the show goes <laughs> i want to say for the record out loud to our dm that i enjoy being alive <laughs> I, I mean i also enjoy being alive but i mean here's okay. um did you no. did you all explain to reader what you saw in the coffin god coffin. no, <laughs> just no. Like, just... <laughs> Are you no, we I... tell him that we met his brother yet? Also? No, we haven't told yeah, him. No one's telling him. <laughs> <you. laughs> <laughs> By the way, reader, we met your brother and he's a total asshole. Oh, don't, don't forget. Don't forget that you also met, well, met um, his father as well. well oh, I, see, I don't guess, think I don't we should tell him that. It will be very, very disturbing and very damaging. We should handle this very gently. <laughs> Okay, just a just a further like lay in the guilt. I think Reader is just putting his hand against the wall out to the outside of the ship. It's like, someday, Father, I'll return <laughs> to our home and find your killer. No, no leads have sh have turned up, but someday, this ship will lead me to justice. Was Saturn awake for his father? Too, no, or no? Okay, no. you missed that. Damn. You missed that shit for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you would have remembered that shit. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Um, yeah, Nejma, uh... Um... <laughs> choose not to tell Reader. <laughs> Nejma, like, kind of, like, scuttles a, a little bit ahead and, like, grabs onto Will's upper arm and, like, pulls her so they can't hear, at least, I hope not, and goes... Okay, Saturn's gonna try and hear. <laughs> <laughs> he could roll for it. I'm um, gonna. Okay, yeah, roll like, for it. Whispers, I think we should tell Reader what we saw but we need to be very careful because that was some shit <laughs> what do i gotta roll for holly what for just checking? perception just perception okay again readers just stare standing at the corner just looking looking at a wall will like uh her normal reaction is like why should i give anyone anything of value unless it benefits me but reader has been very kind to her so as nejma There's like appeals to her conscience and will kind of like looks over at reader and is like uh, okay, yeah. 
Do you want me to do it? Well, does Saturn here over here? Saturn rolled a one. So Saturn heard nothing. <laughs> Saturn like Saturn has a sneezing fit. <laughs> um I don't I don't know. I I know we should tell them what we saw, but we need to be really careful about how we do it because I feel like this could be traumatizing. And if I don't want to admit to being wrong, and he is a total dweeb, but he is actually the only good person I've ever met, and I would <laughs> that ruins. I don't want him to turn into a monster, and I feel like this is one of those things that turn people into monsters. Saturn, you frustrated that he can't hear, just says uh, loud enough. Secrets are not fun unless the whole team is in on them. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so okay, okay. Just no fun. Uh, just Look, so have right. you guys gone on, on walked up shore yet? Like, have you walked? No, we're I mean, still arguing about in the brig. We're You're still about... arguing in the brig. Okay, cool. How about, yeah. we're, how about we're like going up the stairs as we do this? So we're making some movement. Okay. Are right, you walking, talking? Yeah. yeah. I can't deliver this news in transit. I need. Okay. You don't want to do an Aaron Sorkin walk and talk? You don't want to, like. <laughs> no. We can wait till we're above deck, but yeah. if you want me to tell him, I'm not telling him, by the way, on the stairs. Okay, well, no. we, we should we should wait until we can, I don't know, run a safe distance if he does. Are you going to, like, Jason what? Bourne me? Am I going to, like, activate into, like, a, into, like, a death mode? I don't know how Warforged works. <laughs> Maybe. Well, Do once... we still have his leg somewhere? Maybe we could cushion the blow. With no, that. no, no. Spider has it. Spider has his leg. Yeah. Um, it's Spider's leg now. Yeah. Um, when you reach the the d top deck of the ship, um, you notice that you're in a particularly crowded uh, dock. There are a ton of other ships that you see next to you, different kinds of ships with big winged sails, and they all look like strange animals, like fish and birds and all kinds of all kinds of metallic creatures and outside of that you see what looks like a, a massive like probably bigger than you can imagine stone hand curled up like this with a big almost looks like a stake through it but the stake is it has windows so tiny little pin pin pricks of light are in the in the stake in the center of the hand and one of the a couple of the fingers are crumbling and floating off into the astral plane. And you can see along the hand on each of the fingers are different uh, merchant stalls and, and buildings and strange things carved into the stone. So this is- The hand this is, market. This is the hand, the hand bazaar, as it's been hand called. Hand bazaar, right. And it seems- ah. Makes sense now. It seems very, uh, it seems a very popular place, but uh, Lily is up on the deck trying to get everything organized and um, she, comes up to you, Will, and says, uh, a few of the crew have decided to depart here because they do not like uh, being under any under other command than uh, Mason, which is understandable. So you will have Fair. to find uh, 10 more crew members because the ship can't run on its own without that many people. So if- Traitor! <laughs> oh. A lot of them. Uh, that's a bit extreme there, but that's fine if you feel like that. Um, as Mason's chosen successor, I am disappointed in their lack of loyalty to him. Uh, it's not about me. That's fine. Um, but just if you could do that, um, we do uh, we do offer quite a bit of jink for uh, them to stay. So please, please just uh, be nice. I know you are a bit harsh. <laughs> How much jink exactly? Well, if if we if we can, am I offering? Uh, if if the trip is completed and the mission that we're currently on, they will get a uh, uh, ten ten gold apiece. Mm, mm -hmm. And as captain, it's my job to pay them, right? Um, you aren't sure, but uh, looks like Lily has not given you the money because she might not be that stupid. <laughs> well, that she's asking Lily that. She's saying, Lily, as captain, it's now my job to pay them. Uh, Mason gave me specific instructions to not give you any money. 
That's fair. <laughs> that's just like, yeah, that's the right. Yeah. <laughs> and then at that, she just walks. She just walks off, and you seem that there's about ten crew members left, and you do notice that the the ranks are a bit sparse. So you need to go find some more crew on this on this strange hand island. Not, not to make you describe ten NPCs, but like, what what's this crew like looking like? Oh, this is very this is a very diverse crew. Um, there are quite a few humans. Humans are pretty common in the plains. Um, you notice at least one elf. Um, there's a, a bariar, which is a goat centaur person who seems Ooh. to be very good at climbing, which confuses you because you know they they're large. Um, and uh, that seems to be about it. Just it's it's still pretty diverse, but you you get the feeling that um, this sort of work is common amongst anyone because it's uh it's adventuring work it's it's also um the astral plane is also such a strange and bizarre world that anyone could be could be hired to help on the ship so where we go i want to uh fashion reader that leg out of the crowbars i mean if there are market stalls we could try and find them like is there like a like a stall that would have something we could use to make yeah so so the the gangplank on the ship has been lowered onto onto land and you can see that um just past it there are already people looks like beggars begging for money waiting for you to to exit the ship um ta- it's just different kind of looks like diseased creatures and people in tattered robes just just absolutely horrid conditions that they lived in and then past that you can see that that's where the market stalls start on the, the five fingers of the hand re saturn's concerned i think i think reader just goes i'm i'm fine i can manage and you see me just tripod walking down the <laughs> down the gangplank how about awkwardly. how about you this can manage, uh, i don't want to look at that <laughs> how about I, Neshma has an idea we make sure I don't want anybody to give up their crowbars because we could use those later. We've used them a lot. No, the crowbars are more important than me walking. That's fine. No, I... I'm not finished. <laughs> what if I cast levitate on Reader so he doesn't have to walk? Yeah, you could do that. I can that just sounds pull nice. him like a balloon. You would have yes. to pull him like a balloon. <laughs> so Nejma turns to Reader and is like, I'm really sorry <laughs> about your leg. I promise we will explain at another time what I can do. I'll cast levitate on you so you don't have to hobble around and we will find you a new leg. I will buy you a new leg. Oh, well, that'd be very kind. I mean, yes. I'm going to have to pull you around like a balloon at the fair. It's not going to be cute. It's very... I think it'll be cute. Yeah, it's actually... Actually, it'll probably be really cute. (laughs) Yeah, I I think I put out my arms and legs like a Thanksgiving parade balloon for sure. (laughs) Okay. So I'll just... I'll tie like a knot on... um, on like his like around his waist so he doesn't fly too far up okay um and then just like tie the other one around my wrist like a balloon and i will cast levitate on reader okay great um yeah reader you just float up it's a nice cushy ride actually it's pretty peaceful you've you've been through a lot and nejma feels yeah guilty for reasons she cannot explain at the moment so she would like to ferry you around um (laughs) Yeah, so she she you gonna do that? Are you gonna walk down the plank, the gangplank first, Nejma? Yes. Okay. I will walk down first. <laughs> All right. Well, as you as you go as you walk down these these you can only they you can only assume that they're beggars, but they're not asking you for money, and they just they just sort of look at you and start asking you to repeat a word to them. They they just kind of hold their hands out and they say, "Please remember Amanator, please," and they just keep saying that, and they just keep saying the hand, the hand. Mm, that sounds like a whole thing. Um, no. Will senses that there's like an opportunity here, so she takes hands and like presses them, and she's like, "Yes, bless you, bless uh-huh. you, yes, children." Yes. And, they, and they're like, "Please repeat his name, please." Ah yes, I'm I'm not not um, uh, when you uh, when you when you, when you it. say it, they they're just like oh praise. Yeah, he will yes, he know, will yeah. be brought back. Mm-hmm, uh, quick, indeed, quick, brought back. Quick religion or history check if I recognize that name at yeah. all. Make sure not raising a dead god. Neshma uh, just learned how to pronounce Aganazar, so she's not gonna know how to say that. <laughs> uh, 
Better was it a history or religion check, Holly? Religion. Uh, that's a twenty-three. Nice. Ooh. Um, yeah. So Amenator is a dead god, and you think this is his hand. Ooh. And wow. these these petitioners, you think, might be some of the last few of his, of some of his worshippers who are trying to bring him back to life. Anna knows all about that, but Will doesn't, mm-hmm. and also doesn't care. Was, was your god a good man? I say as I float over their heads. Right. <laughs> Just like, just like just leaning like, on your arm like this, yeah. Was he... And they're like, "Oh yes, very good." Well, I wish him luck. And then it's just keep and they going. all just thank you and just like scuttle away. Like clearly, getting two people to say anything has just made their days. Um, but yeah, so now you are on the flat palm of the hand. You see the big spike rising through the middle, and you can tell that it's kind of an a ruckus inn or what you can only assume is an inn because there's people outside drinking there's a balcony on the top that looks like it's been carved into the stone and people are hanging off of it and just cheering and pretty much getting you're getting a pirate vibe from this entire place thinking like uh like tortuga from pirates of the caribbean Sick. you see a lot of people like that look unsavory and uh just a strange a strange mishmash of creatures milling about would will will recognizes like the theft potential of a place um so in a place like tortuga i would imagine that she realizes she has to be extra careful because everyone's trying to pickpocket mm. or yeah you're correct everyone like ever you think that there would be a lot of pickpocketing going on here from your experience um I also assume that there's a lot of like carousing and drunkenness. So Will is specifically looking out for people who might be too drunk to keep full possession of their possessions. Okay. Um, yeah. There's if you walk towards the inn, um, which might it, again, you also feel like that may be a good place for a source of information. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but Does Saturn yeah. say any hotties? Oh yeah, there's tons of hotties, especially pirate Whoa. hotties, where they have that like oh, pirate yeah. shirt, you know, with the tie mm-hmm. on it. Dude, they mm-hmm. have like the oh, pirate the eyeliner. Body. Yeah, yeah, eyeliner. Eyeliner piercing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah there's like, and there's Saturn not just humans. Writing. There's 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 you know orcs with eyeliner and like humans and just tieflings. Orcs with eyeliner. Yeah. Orcs eyeliner eyeliner is very in for everyone. Yeah, in, in fact, place. so many people here have eyeliner. You notice that there is a. Uh, there's a stand selling eyeliner near just Saturn kind of already fits in a little bit with his usual garb. Yeah. A little bit. So I feel like he can hang. He can he can put on some uh some little tiny party tricks to to wow these drunken fools and get some cash. Get some, Saturn get some trying to risk it all. Yeah. <laughs> As Will and Saturn consider never leaving this place. Um <laughs> um so will you do I'll swipe some eyeliner from the stand and put it on reader? Um, oh, well, that's that's nice. Reader, it's too hard. Like, <laughs> yes. Nishma holds her arm up so he can be out of the way. She's like, he doesn't deserve this. Please, he's been. He needs too it. Much. It'll look so nice. He needs to fit in. No, oh, um, no, he's too, it's too much. You uh, I think, I think reader's, kind of, reader's kind of interested in exploring this part of him and wants to try. So will you can um eyeliner. you can roll to steal try and steal that. Give me a, a roll. It's going to be hard, though, because the person that runs the eyeliner stand is just someone in a Jack Sparrow costume. Hot. Well, he's probably drunk then. <laughs> I don't know. You can never tell if those cosplayers are actually drunk or faking it, and I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, man. Can Saturn try and help by distracting all of them with some some fine yeah, triangular sure. yeah. performances? Okay. Yeah, give me, a, give me an advantage, right? Yeah, I would argue that Saturn playing triangle and a floating robot balloon is cause, <laughs> cause like drawing yes. all the attention in the market. Hey, we're in town, baby. Just, baby. Like, oh, just rob us, please rob us. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's really good that I got advantage because now I have a twenty-four. Okay, yeah, you steal some eyeliner while this Jack Sparrow cosplayer is um being enthralled by Saturn's triangle playing. With a twenty-four, do I get any money too? No, you were just trying the eyeliner, Will. You just okay, get the fine. eyeliner. <laughs> um, Nejma would like to continue perusing the stalls looking for, like, um, Warforge-specific or Construct-specific stalls. Okay. With, like, um, oh, also, Will, you did find someone drunk, 
and uh, stole a do 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 do. Oh, a plush cat toy. Oh, sick. Aww. Yeah, so did anybody um, throw any money at us for my fantastic performance? Um, did you do a performance check? You didn't. I can. Yeah, do it. Then we'll see how okay. much money they threw at you. This is like, Holly... Somehow this is the first one I think I've done in the entire game. So okay. Long, so. Holly, can you do me a, a favor? Hmm. Because I forgot my notebook where I keep the list of things I've stolen. Will you will you uh, write that somewhere so I don't forget? Yes. Yeah, I'll remember. And I'll ask you next week. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I got six plus eight, which is fourteen. Um, yeah, that's enough. Uh, you let's see, you get eighteen. Uh, eighteen silver. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Hell yeah! Finally, the bard performs in like a typical. Yeah, you do <laughs> think that you do think that that um, maybe if the robot balloon hadn't been there, they don't really understand that, and maybe if you were in the inn, you might have gotten more gold. <laughs> Of course they understand our art. Also, the robot didn't have any eyeliner on, so. Uh, by the way, is Will putting eyeliner on me right now? Yeah. Uh, How much I, I was gonna, I'm just gonna picture like while Will's drawing eyeliner on me and I'm just floating in front of her. I, I, I think I just wanna say, uh, uh, Captain Miss Will, it, it seems like we have a real opportunity here to to empower some, some poor souls stuck on this floating space hand. Give them a real shot. At a, at a job and 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 to pull themselves up by their bootstraps right yeah um that's why we would do it for sure um you also notice uh actually you know what give me a perception check all of you okay while i'm doing perception this... check, i was just gonna say uh i while we were walking here i did prepare a uh a two-page questionnaire that we can interview applicants with. oh well I mean, yeah, if you want to be in charge of that, I guess that's fine. I we just have to get 10 of them. I would be happy to. I got a 17 percent. I got a 7. 18. <laughs> I got an 8. OK. Um, so reader, you notice that the spike in the middle of the hand has a familiar symbol on it. It's, that, it's the bell that you used to see in those mm. weird visions. Crunchwrap Supreme Time, y'all. And then, uh, Nejma, you see that there is a stall selling what you can only assume are different Warforged and Modron parts to repair, possibly to repair ship servants, to repair uh, what you think are maybe automatons that are not sentient like Reader, but are used as, uh, as builders and things like that in this astral plane. You can actually see a couple of them building things and repairing things around the hand. Okay, I would like to approach them cautiously because I still think robots are the devil's work. No offense, reader. Um, but I will approach them cautiously and see if they're if they're like selling anything. Um, yeah, so the as you approach, you notice that the person, well, uh, yeah, the person running the stall is a kobold. They're very okay. small dog lizard. And uh, he just looks up up at you and just says, yes, yes, what'd you buy? What do you want? Uh a leg we're missing a leg do you have a leg that will fit on this Does, do you come over man? reader yeah I, I mean as long as she's pulling me along like a balloon yeah i'm just like okay and he he looks up and goes oh it's a fancy one so fancy oh yeah he's you. very fancy thank oh it you. talks wow wow maybe maybe later you could take him apart and show me how you got him to work and then he runs back inside is this thing cute <laughs> that's yeah, really I, cute that is just like I want to pet him. <laughs> They're a little bitey. I want to pet this man uh, <laughs> on the head. Nejma, like, you want to pet every man. Calm down. From, and then the spell will wear off once he's back on the ground. Yes, yes. And you hear him like shuffle around things like getting knocked around. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, I, I found one. I found one. Good, good leg. And he brings, he's very small. So he's just dragging this large like leg back out. And, um, it almost doesn't look like you, Reader. It looks like it's got almost like bone on the outside as armor um, and just different like pock marks in it, but it looks like it would fit you well enough. So we're just it's like it's like organic or it's like a metal it's, leg? It's metal bone. and it's got what looks like bone fused on the outside. Interesting. Uh, can I, can I like, do I have any way to like determine uh it's making or like what it would have been a part of if I, you know. Um, yeah, you can you can go ahead and, and perception check it. 
Is it coming in nine and a half? <laughs> <laughs> that's not great. That's a that's an eight. Um, you that's enough to know that because you've seen these these automatons sort of around this area that it was probably some kind of strong guard, maybe like maybe some kind of golem even. Okay. All right. I. Uh, how much? How much would you like for the for the leg? Uh, he like sizes it up and he's like, "I want two hundred gold." Will you take eighteen silver? <laughs> he looks at you like, "I might be a kobold, but I'm not dumb. Don't be mean to me." Where did you get this leg? I get legs from all over the place, just like I get arms and hands and everything. This is a shop. I have a business to run. I have kids to feed. Can Saturn try and... Um... And he, like, shuffles in one spot and is just like, So you want the leg or not? Can he try and persuade him to give it to us for a discount? Yes. 200 is a lot. It yeah. is a lot. You do have that, though. Yeah. If it yeah, doesn't work, we... I have another idea. So okay. go ahead, Saturn. Um, That's 11 plus 6. That's 17. The kobold also has a foppish hat. Aww. <laughs> Just with a yeah, feather. Detail, I love it. Yeah. Um, 17, you said? Yeah. Uh, so he he actually uh, is persuaded by you. And he says, all right, all right, fine. I'll give you for 150. Is, but is only, it, because you're, only because the eyeliner on your robot is very well done. It is very well done. He has yeah. eyeliner, too. True. Okay. How about this? How about this? I... 150, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. You're being very generous. But I just want to keep, you know, all options open. You said you had mouths to feed and a business to run. And I get that. Yes, it's called Legs and Arms and Things. That's my business. You look up and there's that a is... sign that says Legs and Arms and Things. And the pic a poorly arms. drawn picture of a kobold. Like... <laughs> and that is a fantastic name. It's beautiful. Like, that is, that's the next big thing. What if, and I'm just spitballing here, what if you gave it to us for a hundred and I will throw in something fantastic, which the likes you have never seen before? Saturn's just what? like, don't be the skull, don't be the skull. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll for persuasion. Persuasion. Nejma, please, it's not, I'm not worth it. It's, it's fine. You are worth it. All right, so persuasion. All right, 15? Uh, that is just enough to persuade him. Right. And because he loves the idea of, of something mystical and, and adventurous. And he's like, what is it? What is it? I want to know. I want to know. He's just jumping up and down. Uh, Nejma reaches in her bag and pulls out that jar of dead bees. <laughs> he's like, hey. It looks like, listen, it's meant to look like garbage, but it's not. I'm a wizard. I would know. <laughs> if you know a necromancer, this is some sort of crazy weapon. Let me tell you, you reanimate all these bees. I don't, I wouldn't want to be there when you open that jar. <laughs> this um, is perfect theft prevention. A lot of people thieving around here. You Makes don't even sense. think he's listening to you as he grabs the jar from you and opens it and sticks a hand in and shoves some in his mouth. My God! And he starts or a snack. and he starts crunching and he's like, "These are delicious. You're right. You're right. These are magic. Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. A hundred gold. A hundred gold." And he like, <laughs> he, he just keeps he just like he's eating them like popcorn. He's like, <laughs> Saturn's just like, mm, yeah, yeah. Enjoy They're those. really yeah. good for you. <laughs> they they will add ten years to your life, maybe. Um, mm. So I will yeah. I will give him a hundred gold. Plenty of vitamin B. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're so good, but they're sweet a little bit. I love them. I love them. Yes, they're good for you. Uh, so Saturn's like also trying to hold back a, a good old mouth bomb. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So disgusting. you you um you go ahead and pay the kobold, and he'll greedily take the gold. Me, thank you, thank you for your business. Thank you, thank you. If you need anything else, remember legs and arms and things. And he points up, and he scuttles. Never forget. Never forget legs and arms and things. He scuttles back into his uh. Into the to the back of the tent, more or less. And um, reader, you now are holding this leg. Are you gonna put it on? Uh, yeah. But first, reader 
turns to the group and I'm assuming I'm floating. Yeah. So even while I'm talking, my ba I'm not in control of where I'm floating. So while I'm talking, I'm just kind of drifting around. And, and I'm just like, I, I just have to say that if father had built tear ducts in my, <laughs> I would be, I would be crying right now. I'm so moved. So the things you guys have done, I just keep floating. Then she was like, they're just like, that's very nice. Do you need tear like ducts? I mean, I have more garbage I can give people if you need tear ducts, but I think this is just legs and arms, but no, the thing this could good. be tear ducts. Thank you. Uh, I, I think I, sh I have the engineering skill to attach it to myself. Do I, do I have any difficulties of just like universal socket? Go ahead and roll for me. And um, just give me a d20 roll to see how, how well you can. I guess it would be like a dexterity roll, actually. Give me a dexterity roll. I just want to uh, real quick. A 13. As Reader was turning, Saturn's also like walking around to like keep <laughs> looking. Like as he's spinning, he's just like, uh huh, uh huh, like just to keep. Oh my hey. god. Um, yeah, you have no problem attaching it, Reader. Um, and it fits just fine. And miraculously, it's just about the right height, so you don't have to have a weird gait. But um, you do get, statistically wise, you get plus one to your AC. Yay! Yeah. I got to, I'm blocking all the hits with my leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cool. Because like, you realize um, that it's got it's a it's a pretty sturdy object and it's got bone armor on the side, so I, I love it. Do I? I'm just asking because I don't know how this works. Do I like? Do I like sense anything? Like, is there like a? Is if it's like a golem leg, am I like feeling like the memories of another life or anything? No. Or is it? No, no. You just you just feel it. You feel it attached to you, and it feels it feels strong and functional. Um, you feel like if if uh. If it may, might have belonged to another Warforged, maybe you would have had a different reaction, but this this was something that wasn't sentience leg. This was something okay. that just had a purpose. All right, I think I just start air kicking with it and go, thank you, thank you. Air kick. Yeah, yeah, air you kicking. can, it kicks really well. You can do like a roundhouse kick, it's really sick. Oh my God. <laughs> it's I'm really gonna, sick. I'm gonna Patrick Swayze everyone now, yeah. this is great. Yeah, can you <laughs> yeah, roll me a performance check while you're doing that? <laughs> Nat twenty. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! You get you get yes. as you're doing that, you don't even realize you've gathered a crowd and you get eighty three gold. Yes. Uh, yes. Dab with your leg. Yeah. Dab yeah. With your yeah. Leg. There, and this crowd is just a round reader, and he's like break dancing. You didn't even know he could do this. In the air too, which is even more yeah. impressive. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it is just a show. It is just a show, and they are having a great time. So yeah, good job, good job, reader. You have a leg I now. I feel alive. Okay, great. Threw money at us. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you all. One of the one of the shirtless guys even winks at you, Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> With the pirate shirt, you know. Here we go, bitch. I love this place. <laughs> um. So yeah. So you've now obtained a, a leg. Are you gonna move towards the spire to see if you can find the information on gathering a crew? Do this. Yes. Yeah. Do we know, like, just like, do the, are the different fingers, like, different parts of the city or something? Or is it like a, are there, like, districts or anything? Um, no, it's, it's, it's not that large. You, you do see that where the fingers continue up, that it does, it looks like it gets to be, the distance is longer. So there's probably more of stalls on each of the fingers. But in the center is that, is that large spire, and then around it is everything else. Okay. Could we, before the crowd disperses, uh, can Will just kind of clear her throat and be like, <clears throat> uh, Reader, don't you have applications to give these fine folks? Yes, I, I, I start, as I'm spinning, I think I threw a few out, but I'm also, I'm happy to help. Uh, the, the bold crew of Captain Miss Will is looking for brave adventurers to go aboard a magic ship. <laughs> will Reader's just looks imperious. She doesn't help. She's just looking all right important. um well everyone uh, magic ship is, they're kind of they're turned off by the words magic ship they're like what that's the best part of the pitch just, so they kind of they, they they think that you don't really know like what the ship is so they just kind of like most of them wander off one one will come up to you and it's a uh, <laughs> you notice that it's just a small turtle man and he just holds out a hand um is there, like, can Nejma find, like, a box or something to stand on? <laughs> You're gonna get a box and put the uh, turtle You notice in. You know, the turtle man's just like, I'd like to apply, please. All right, you're in. Uh, I, 
<laughs> Neshman digs a box out of the garbage, stands on it, is like, 10 gold for anybody who will help me run this ship so I can go back home. <laughs> um, I want to say that anytime, like, when, when Reader just was like, Captain Will, I, anytime anybody says that, Saturn just, like, under his breath, just be like, and friends. <laughs> <laughs> And her friends. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so Nejba, you can go outside of the, the inn and grab a box where all of the, everyone's drunken and carousing. There's a lovely little courtyard where people are bringing food out that looks like it might still be alive. Oh, fun. Uh, yeah, uh, I would like to stand on the box and uh, offer ten gold for the first nine okay. people who uh, will help us run this ship. Aren't okay. they supposed to get 10 gold if they complete the yeah, mission? Yeah, it's to complete it. Oh. Yeah, 10 gold to complete the mission. Um, Maybe another jar of dead bees. Haven't decided yet. D did you hire Turtle man, man, by the way? He wanted to apply, so I yes. I Captain Will a, a fine, a fine uh, crew member here, I think. What's your name? My name's Samson. Samson, can you swear to serve me faithfully no matter what comes? I think so. <laughs> Samson thinking so isn't good enough. Samson, you are you a swear fan of the triangle? Um, I'll play you some music for on our voyage. You guys all just start surrounding. <laughs> no, and he's just like, I feel really attacked right now, and he walks away. No, no <laughs> Samson, come Samson, back. I, I, Why do you I, have I, to play your triangle? You I, it's I, an I, I art form. Samson, Samson appreciate Samson, art. Samson, well. Samson is like, I'm a good cook. If you need a galley cook. We I, probably will need a galley cook. I I love Samson, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, roll to persuade Samson to come on the ship. Or I'll, am he's I a turtle, so he's a small turtle man. Yes, they're adorable. Persuasion? Yeah, but only reader. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, damn. I, I, got a, I, I, got a, I got a I got a five. Oh, Sam bye, Samson. Samson's like, I don't know. Your friend Will seems really mean. No, I, I, I think immediately go. No, Captain Miss Will is one of the bravest fight warriors I've ever met. She she saved us uh, in in sigil many times. I would not be here today without Captain Miss Will. I'm sorry if you know assertiveness in a captain like me is threatening to you, but I think that you'll appreciate it once we find ourselves in any kind of you know questionable situation. Uh, he kind of he well okay you're you persuade him well he's trying to not be afraid of you so it's your turn <laughs> okay in case you haven't get, figured it out that your whole entire mission is to persuade people to get on your ship so I, we immediately oh, had the, the <laughs> easiest layup of a person and we scared him away for a second sorry I'm rolling with my phone uh, persuasion is gonna be. Ooh, I have a plus seven to persuasion. Fourteen. Um, yeah, that's enough. Uh, do you offer him gold as well? The ten you tell well, him about the ten on completion. Yeah, I mean it's possible. There's ten gold. <laughs> He's like, you can make up to ten gold. He's like, all right, I'll go get some provisions and make my way back to the ship if you'll reimburse me for the food costs. Well, just you know, don't go crazy. <laughs> And he looks at Reader and he's like, I think she's still mean. And he walks off. I like him. All right. So you are down to needing nine people. Nejba, you managed mm. to get two people interested by you being on top of the uh, the crates. And they're creepy twins. Of course cool. they are. Because you know how much I love creepy <laughs> twins. Thank you, Holly. Yeah, they, look, they, look, uh, they look very similar. They almost, they're two... I guess probably around mid twenties, young men with white hair, and they look like air air Genasi Genasi. I never say that are, right. Are these the guys from the Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> Except for like less nineties. Okay. And um, yeah, they look at you, Nejma, and they both talk at the same time. And, of course they do. Yeah, and they say we would like to apply. <laughs> Nejma like. <laughs> Recoils because I don't, I don't think elves come in twins. So she's probably like, ah, oh, there are two of them. Uh, what kind of skills do you 
I, I, I hand her I hand her one of my many uh, questionnaires that I typed up with full of answers and questions for for her to ask. Yes. What what special skills? <laughs> yeah, they're like, we are very excellent at working together. I I bet you're horny for teamwork. Um, do you have any abilities? Are you, you ma magical in nature? Huh. Uh, they tell you that their names are, are Shaw and If, and, uh, they say that they can control the winds, but not here in the astral plane, elsewhere. But they do tell you they have ma very basic magical cantrip abilities. Okay, have you ever worked on a ship before? Um, uh, Shaw looks at you, uh, and says, this is the first time you've ho heard them speak separately. And he says, yes, but that one was exploded. Well, you survived, and that's good enough for me. Uh, sure. Let's rock and roll, you salt and pepper shakers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, if you would like to call us that, we will be salt and pepper. Thank you. And then they start walking towards the ship. What are their real names? What about Shaw Spin and If, but now it's salt and pepper. What about DJ Spinderella? Okay, all right. <laughs> They're salt and pepper now, reader. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, so you uh, now have to... three, or you have a. So you need seven more. I'm I'm happy to go to the spire if we think there's more, uh, seaworthy crew. Um. Miss, I turned I turned to Miss Well looking for. Her, her word. Uh yeah yeah that sounds good. Let's go there. Yeah, let's go find more creepy twins. I think they're nice. <laughs> As they walk yeah. off, they're holding hands. <laughs> uh, uh, <they're> just like, <laughs> oh, I hate that. I fucking hate that. Why Why do you guys have such a, an aversion to familial affection? Yeah. Did something happen to you? I mean, my mom did sell me to the circus. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> hmm. Uh, as you guys say that, I I think Reader was like starting to reach for Saturn's hand and then pulled pulled back as soon. As, <laughs> as soon as I think I think Reader should take Saturn's hand anyway. <laughs> Just go for. It. Amazing. Uh, um. Yeah. So as God you Reader take Saturn's hand. Yeah, I guess I go. So he 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 feels brave and he goes for it. Saturn just kind of looks at him and just like. <laughs> Yeah, what? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so <laughs> awkward. <Yeah. laughs> just like so, like not even friends. Just like don't touch me. Reader, reader, let's go. I'm just glad we're all still here. <laughs> laughing nervously. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> what else do, who else do we need for this crew? We need seven more crew members. So as you as you make your way towards the spire in the center with the bell on it, you notice that there's a large um entranceway um that's open with two big wooden doors out o open to the public. And inside is just an absolute carousing party scene. People there's people carrying massive tankards of ale. There is, you know, people are throwing chairs, there's dancing, and there's people hanging from the balconies. And you notice that it goes up like a big cone. It's hollowed out. And there's staircases all the way up the sides to the different balconies and areas in the spire. And in the center, you see a large round bar where in the middle of it, you notice there's a, what you think is a large ogre bartender like looming over everyone else and pouring drinks and handing them. He seems to be the owner. I think I think we should. Uh, I think I go up to him and and, and go. Uh, do I have any? I have a few money. I'm feeling very, very happy with my my crew for helping me give me a new leg. And I, and I I, I uh, skip over there to and go. Hello, good sir. I'd like to buy three of your standard ship ship ales for my crew, men. Um, the ogre doesn't say anything. He just grunts and points to the counter. And he pours you the ales and puts them down. Uh, I, br I bring him back to the team. I go, thank I, I just got to say, I 
I love you all so much. And I, I, I feel so thankful. I, well, I promise to never hold any secrets from any of you. Uh, I don't know why you, I feel like I'm t- compelled to tell you that. I just really want to make it clear. You, you love us. Aw, oh, gross. Saturn's just like, is that why you touched me? And then takes the, the <laughs> drink. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, yes, it, it, uh, a very familiar love for sure. Okay. Will goes to like cheers, but Reader doesn't have a drink because I guess Reader doesn't drink, so she just kind of like boops his nose with it. <laughs> <laughs> Saturn, like that. Uh, he rem- he hears Reader say that he would never keep any secrets, and he remembers that before he was knocked unconscious, he had a couple questions for Gold Nesma about why the hell she keeps talking to herself <laughs> and the fire that came out of her eyes. And, you know, he'd like to discuss that with her over some drinks while we have a chance. I feel like Nesma's just going through some stuff. We all work through some stuff in different <laughs> ways. Not that. I think some people journal, some people have a mental breakdown. It's fine. I would like to zone of truth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that's intense. May I please, because I would like some answers about yeah. why suddenly our favorite little Nejma can do things with fire with her eyes and not just her hand. Um, so are you just going to cast it right there? Hell yeah, I am. Okay, As, when you cast it, you, you didn't notice this before, but on top of the ogre's shoulder is a small, very, very small, what looks like a dog. Like it looks like a like a chihuahua, Aww. and it 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 kind of like looks down at you, Saturn, and you hear this, no, not here, not in not in the spire, and you feel your magic go away. <laughs> well, this that? is awkward. Y'all hear that? You guys, did you hear that? I think we did. No. Right? I was just drinking this after booping Reader's nose with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just having a fun time with my friends. <laughs> my love. And I don't know exactly how like Zone of Truth is supposed to look, but like he's like doing things with his hands and nothing's happening. <laughs> and he's just like, he's just like feeling a lot of emotions because he thought he was he thought he was finally gonna get him goddamn answer to this question he's been having for quite a couple weeks now <laughs> I, um, I feel like you said zone of truth like i feel yeah, like yes. well, zone of truth. you might have felt that it didn't work but you can absolutely uh you can absolutely try and bluff that it did okay okay um do i gotta roll something for that uh yeah you're gonna roll against uh against nejma so nejma you roll to be deceived Okay. Which would be, I guess that would just be insight. That would be an insight. And I roll for persuasion, or no? Um, you roll for persuasion or uh, okay. deception, deception check. Oh, deception. Okay. It's not looking good for your boy. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-two. Fourteen plus six is twenty. So... Oh no! Yeah, Nejma, you don't believe Saturn at all. You think he's bluffing. You also saw the the Chihuahua tell him that his spell didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> I say nothing and I just do this. At Saturn or the Chihuahua? Saturn. Oh, he Saturn's just like he's just grumbling and just takes a yeah. s- swig of his beer. Yeah. Nejma like scoots a little closer and is like, I I want to I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Oh yeah, well you want to show me. Watch this, watch this. See how I minded my own business? <laughs> Saturn's just like, uh-huh. well, guess what? We're a team, it's a team, and I don't really like secrets that you seem to be bottling up. You know, you and Will got this little fun secret thing going that you just won't tell Reader and I about. Seems like a lot of things are going on. Oh yeah. That are really keeping She's the like... team apart here. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, reader. I, I, right, when you say that, I'm in the background just going, everyone, my friends bought me a leg, and I'm just kicking for that. <laughs> y- yes? Um, Nesma and I wanted to fill you in on some stuff. 
I'd be happy to. I yes. pull a chair and just sit. Like, yeah, you can all. You can all. There's room. there's a lot of round tables around here, so you can sit yourselves at a table. I do the cool sitting though, where I sit just like very very tentatively, like a happy boy, ready to hear. You, um, we met one of your brothers. <gasps> yeah, um, I've been looking for them. Do you does the name Biter ring a bell? I think I do. Right, right. Um, like yeah, you would have. So Biter was one of the soldiers that your father made. Right. I also probably helped build him a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, yes, Biter. He was he was a he was a fun one. Yeah, he gave himself the name Biter, by the way. Sure it was fun. Uh, yeah. Wait, you found you saw him. I haven't seen him since he was sent out for war. What how is he doing? Uh he seemed um not great. Not great. A little angry. Has some anger issues. Know how that feels. Maybe a little bit out of sorts. He stole uh, your leg. <gasps> well, we'll we keep should... looking at Nejma like, you told me to be gentle. <laughs> well, I guess the leg's still in the family. It's. It, did he need it? Did he need the leg? Uh, you have well, a better leg now. Uh, it's just kind of, you know, asking about why he needed the leg. It's really interesting, actually, that you asked that. Um, because you know how you got a cool new leg? And it, like you know, helped you become complete again. Yes, bought by my good friends. Right, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> if you think of uh, of Biter as being someone else's good friend that he's trying to fix, um, I would say maybe that's why he took the leg. Well, I guess that seems like a valid cause. I wish he had asked me, but I would have been happy to. Uh, yeah, except the thing is that, um, the person that he's giving the leg to is maybe, like, not quite, like, uh, as aware as you of, like, making the decision to, like, add stuff to their body, I would say, maybe? Interesting. Like, do you mean the person, this, this unnamed person? I don't, I find it interesting. What a fun game that we're not saying their name. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, getting increasingly nervous. Can can you guys give me a quick uh, dexterity saving throw? <laughs> oh jeez! All of us? Oh, no. Yeah, no, all I, of you. Uh, I, I got a four. One. I rolled a one. I got an eight. Oh, I rolled a one as well. Oh no! Saturn gets eighteen. Okay. Just saying. Well, Saturn, you miss it. You miss the the uh, explosion of entrails as what you can only assume was a. A pig was dropped from somewhere on the top of the spire. Maybe not a pig, maybe some kind of creature, but it hits the side of your table and just explodes, splattering you all with gore. What? Yeah. And you see a you see a what looks like a a, a large orc pirate type fellow look down, and go, "Oh, I'm sorry." The, oh, what? And it's just all uh, over uh, you. It's okay. Uh, Saturn just Saturn's like, yeah, like Saturn's one. totally clean. He's just like unbothered. <laughs> yeah. Saturn's pristine and all of you are now covered with disgusting slime. And there's just like, like bits a... of meat falling off the table. Is it like a cooked pig or just like a No, a you pig? think it could have been some kind of sentient pig looking like creature. You don't know. It might have been from a bar fight, but it definitely exploded and is dead. Oh, no. Okay, well, that was um, probably a sign that that was enough talking for today. A murder uh, has occurred. <laughs> yes, write that in your book of crimes. Write that down. Somebody murdered. We can solve that later. Saturn is just like, you guys really got to get better at spilling tea. Like, come on. <laughs> this is... Will looks around and she's kind of like, oh, what is me? Oh no! And goes into like a damsel act because she's covered in gore and she's pretty sure she can get someone to like be, be sympathetic to her and either take care of her, give her something, or get close enough to steal their coin first. Okay. Um. Yeah, you manage. To, uh, one white knight flies out of the crowd <laughs> yes. for, for Will, and um, uh, it's just taking advantage. A hum. It looks like a human. Um, a human. Uh, Possibly like a dock worker or something like that, and uh, uh, she's she's a large burly woman, and she wants she's like, "What's wrong, ma'am? Do you need help?" We all need yes, help. I do. Woe is me for I've been witness to a murder. Who has who has hurt this this young woman? And she's just like, like holding up. She's Does like, she come close to me. Yeah, 
I look I look like I'm going to swoon and try to get her to catch me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, she she'll try and catch you definitely. She'll be like, "This is a crime." Um, can I try to steal her coin purse as she catches me while I swoon? Yes. I mean, you could ask her to be on your crew. I said, no, I don't, we're not, I don't for sure you're going to recruit her. No, just take her money. I already look like a damsel. I can't be a captain and a damsel at the same time. It crosses the character. <laughs> That's true. Fair. Fine. Very Nejma fair. will be like, hey, I, uh, I have a ship. Do you want a job? <laughs> she looks. Will glares at her. Uh, she looks down and drops Will. <laughs> Did I manage? I rolled a really good for my slide. I rolled okay. a twenty-four. Yes, you managed to steal from her, but she Great. still has agreed to be a part of your crew. Oh hell yeah! I liked what? her. What's her name? Her name's uh. Oh, let me get my name list. I'm taking down like all the names for myself as well. Uh, she calls herself Lady Sigmund. Hey, Lady Sigmund, we love you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Siggy. I like much, her already. I don't know why. From uh, uh, so, from Lady Sigmund, she is, says that she's extremely strong and, and good on the deck of a ship. Nice. I want to compare abs with this woman. Yeah, you guys can compare abs while Will just continues to, I guess, steal from her. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I'm so surprised that we recruited this, this other character as opposed to the cool orc guy who killed a pig man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You found Actually. a you found on her a jade figurine of an owl. Seems sentimental. Maybe important. Cool. And now mm. it's gone. <laughs> now it's important to me. <laughs> um, is the orc guy who killed the pig man? And he's still around. Um, he yeah. You see him upstairs. He's trashed. He's just like yeah. going like, oh yeah, I I fought twelve Githrai and a Mind Flayer once and a Beholder. He's just like yelling. He's got a tankard. I love it. Saturn hasn't flirted in a while. This is, everyone's got a chance to recruit somebody. Yeah, that's Saturn, true. Get us a good, beautiful man. Get it's us a man on the ship. It's your boy's time. Uh, so Saturn's gonna go over and be like, wow, that sounds. That's that's some. Mighty, mighty, mighty impressive list of uh, uh, achievements that you've got there, sir. Um, we could really use a, a strong, skilled man like yourself on our crew, on our ship, on our voyage, our quest, our adventure. And then I guess I'll roll for yeah. uh, charisma or persuasion. That would be persuasion. Okay. Uh, 16 plus 6. That's Oh, yeah, fun. that's great. Yeah, he is just, he sees you oh, and yeah. he's just like, you're real pretty. My name's Gabscar. Where is your I ship? I fantasy. Gabscar. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, you can see he's got like a, like a scar right across his mouth. You said Nabscar? Gab, Gabscar. Gabscar, okay. Yeah, well, and... Hello. and and he goes. He goes. I know how to. I know how to work on an engine on any any spell jabber ship. I know how to clean things, and I know how to. He's pretty much just. He's might be lying. You don't know. <laughs> he's just, just like. Well, I've got some some cranks to cl to clean and gears to polish. So why don't you uh, head on over there, pal? All right. He great. walks in the opposite direction. I just lean over and go. I like to the ship <laughs> yeah he doesn't walk the okay, right way good. but you assume that he'll find it eventually he's just drunk okay great <laughs> in fact okay, it might good. be better if you just write him a note on how to get there okay what's um, the name of our ship by the way the fulbright the fulbright mm -hmm. okay got it Four are there hearts. any hot elves in in this spot? oh yeah how, how about we recruit people based on their merit and not their looks why um, how about you <laughs> 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 You got your leg. I did get my leg. You're right. We're just like, you're very right. It's very true. I have had enough for today. Well, I mean, Nejma would think elves are superior anyway. So, uh... so yeah, you see what look like a group of snooty elves at a table. Um, they are all wearing mage robes. You don't think that they're, you, you think they might have something to do with the magical abilities of these ships, but you don't know. So they're all just kind of talking amongst themselves. Mm. There's about four of them. Am I still covered in like blood? Oh yeah. 
I would like to press to digitate that off myself. All right. Yeah, you do. Just shake it off. Yeah. Will clears her throat like. <clears throat> oh yeah, and and you too. Like there's like a little like. Okay. Uh, I don't sponge sponge. That's what I'm thinking of. Just yeah, a little magical sponge. Yeah. Um, cool. I would like to approach the other elves. All right. Um, yeah, as you approach, you can hear them talking in hushed voices. It, and if it seems that they're talking about the arcane. Ooh. Um, I would like to try and... I'm going to just go ahead and insert myself into this conversation. Okay. <laughs> All right. As you sit down, um, one of the elves... Uh, looks to looks like a sun elf with like blonde hair. They're all very blonde hair, pale, long pointy ears. And uh, one of them looks at you and says, "What do you want, warlock?" Okay, first of all, how does everybody know this? <laughs> they just do. Okay, so um, I need superior people of magical abilities to help me. On my ship. It's my ship now. Sorry, Will. <laughs> um, all right. Give me a give me a persuasion on this guy. Okay. And it's not going to be easy because he's fancy. Okay. Well, I'll threaten him if it doesn't work. <laughs> it's infiltrated. Okay. Uh, seventeen. So dirty twenty. All right. Um, that is enough for him to say. I'm intrigued. How much gold? Uh, could be up to ten gold if you complete your duties um i will take no less than a hundred because i am a mage of great power mm. you'll take what i give you <laughs> you know that i'm a warlock <laughs> okay can you intimidate him yes intimidation okay uh 14 16 um, he does not seem as afraid as you'd like him to be, but he is definitely not, he's, he's wary of you, but it might not have worked as you wanted. He, now he's just like, Jesus, I don't want to deal with this, this person. Um, I would like to let him know he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Nishra wants to go home. Okay. He goes, and what makes you think that you can say things like that to me amongst my peers? You're one, and we are many. Hmm. I've heard that before. Uh, can I set the... I probably can't just tap into my patron, can I? No, you can't. Unless All you're right. using your warlock abilities, like uh, Eldritch Blast or something. Can I Eldritch Blast the corpse that, like, hit the... I mean, yeah. But yours looks like fire, so... Okay, that's lit, fam. I want to do that. I want to Eldritch Blast. Okay. All right, well, as you, <laughs> as you start to cast it, you feel your magic disappear, Damn and you hear, I said not in the spire. What do I have oh to tell God. you people? And the chihuahua is still on top of the ogres just looking at you. Goddamn you, Taco Bell dog. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hmm. that's fine. Flip a table. Just flip a table. Fine, I'll flip the damn table. <laughs> okay. I just want to flip the table. Okay, yeah, you flip the table and it makes the elves, like, ex ex extremely hissy. And they're all like, oh, I can't believe this. Oh, and they just hustle out. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Doesn't I look like you'll be getting a mage on your crew. Saturn sees Nezma piss him off, and he wants to go try and intimidate them as well. <laughs> Just to threaten a bunch of elves. Okay, all right. What? Well, maybe not intimidate. Maybe he wants to be nice to them instead, actually, because, um... Forgive my dumb friend. She's drunk and full of secrets. Yeah, yeah. Let, I'm gonna do that instead uh, because I'm afraid of what they actually might do to me. <laughs> because they have magic. I mean, you have, you well, have, they can't use magic in here. You're no, fine. you can't. Yeah. Oh, you can't use magic no, in here. It's, it, no, the 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 innkeeper, who you can only assume is the dog on top of the ogre, does not has some ability to nullify magical abilities. Oh, intimidate. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Could someone uh, just maybe like put the dog down for a little nap? Forever. I, I have Ooh, an answer. Sorry. Nat 20 plus 8. Oh, man. Yeah, Saturn, you just, what do you do Saturn to intimidate? Saturn over. All right, bitch. <laughs> Listen up. My friend Nejma, she's not messing around. I've seen her breathe fire with her eyes, and she doesn't want to tell me what's going on with that, and that scares me. So that should scare you even more, because you don't even know what she's capable of. So you're going to march all your little asses onto our ship and help us all out. We're going to have a couple... <laughs> Couple consequences you're gonna have to pay. Um, so all of the elves are impressed by your beauty, grace, and stature, and threatening voice. Uh huh. I'm from New York, bitch. <laughs> and they, they, uh, they all agree to help your ship. All five, or all four of them. Are are these workers or like prisoners so, of jobs? Like. <laughs> You think that they have? They were looking for work. They just decided that you might not have been the exact ship that they were looking for. But you know that having that many mages and on a crew will greatly benefit your ship because they can help its magical abilities in in moving through the astral plane. Do they all have names? <coughs> they do. Um, Perfect. Uh, one of them is Elomir. And uh, Felvar, <laughs> uh, Liston, and uh, where's my other name? And uh, soon. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, so yeah, so those are the four elves you get on your ship. You now only need three more crew members. Um, oh, also, Jimmy, for your lovely speech, I'm going to give you inspiration, because that was great. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Hell yeah. As nice. they walk away, Saturn's just like, and that's how you scare someone. <laughs> <laughs> and Nejma, uh, you watched looks... this whole thing after you tried to scare them with magic and everything, so you watched Saturn just totally upstage you. Yeah. But Saturn also said that he's afraid of Nejma. That's a true. Bit, that's true. So she, I don't know if she should feel that bad, because... Mm. Uh, I, I am terrified of those eyes. It's really scary. How do you do that? <laughs> All right. Um, I, I think uh, readers going around and just honestly, just genuine, like the way someone would like, would you like to talk about the Lord? I'm just walking around going, do you seek adventure? And then like, just waiting for anyone to say yes. All right. So you go through everyone, everyone in the, in the inn. while he's doing that, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, sulking. I'm actually, I have, I know I flipped the table, but I've decided that there is a tankard of ale that did not get harmed, and I am drowning my sorrows. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nejma is drowning her sorrows. Yes. Um, you notice a few of the automatons that you've seen around this hand start cleaning up the body that's on your table. Uh, you also uh, notice that some of them might be taking pieces back to the kitchen. You're not sure. <laughs> Can I, uh, like, investigate anything about that just to make sure that there's nothing I should know about the fact that this thing fell on our table and what it is? Uh, yeah, you can investigate it. Sorry, I'm rolling and using my character sheet on my phone, so it takes me a second. I roll a 16, which means that in investigation, I have an 18. Sweet. Um, yeah, you notice that this actually wasn't a, a pig at all. It was some kind of, some kind of, probably demon. You think right. it could have been some sort of demon that was here drinking? You also notice that he's holding a tankard in one hand and most likely got in a bar fight. Seems pretty standard, right? Yeah, he just has like a pig, a piggy-looking demon face. Hmm. We didn't recruit the guy that smashed him yet, did we? No, you did. It was the orc. Yelling. It was the orc. It okay. was Gabscar that smashed him. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gabscar, you got any friends? He's like gone. He walked away. Fellows? He walked Do away. Do I see anyone that looks like they might have been his friends? Like some, some muscle? Yeah, you see a couple um, a couple of the large uh, hippo people, the gif. There's two standing by the bar drinking and just haughtily talking about who knows what. And uh, a few large, other large creatures on the side. Another Bariar, which is another goat person. 
I kind of want a hot barrier on our ship, just FYI. Just throwing that out okay. there. Merits of their seafaring skill. Reader, enjoy your leg. Otherwise, is I'm taking it, it away. Is anyone is anyone responding to my do you seek adventure request at all? Is um, and I, actually, do you walk up to the two hippo people? Totally. Okay. Ever, yeah. Yeah, they seem to be in what look like like old like like military uniforms, and they're just they they. They are either off duty or they seem to be, they just are looking for something to do. And as, you, as soon as you walk up and say, are you seeking adventure? They're like, why, yes. And- Well, uh, excellent. What a, what a great coincidence. I represent Captain Miss Will and the Fulbright. Uh, and where, where's your captain? We'd like to meet her. She is- I right am here. Point right over. All right. Uh, they walk up to you, Will, and they're so, yes, yes, we are from the- the com- the company of, of Ethos. I would like to know uh, what is your ship's mission, and can you tell me its statistics and how quickly it flies and how its sails work? Well, uh, as you can assume, our mission is certainly uh, how would you put it? You know, uh, and she's trying to. to <laughs> yeah, yeah. Them. Can, I, can I try to help out a little bit? Can I try to like yeah. fill in with the with the little bit of time on the ship I had? Can I try to like. Yeah, yeah. Know, okay, like... so you both can roll deception checks on these. Well, yeah, basically, find deception... what Will I... is trying what Will is trying to do is get them to like tell her what they want to hear so that she can just agree with them. Sure. I was trying to see... I actually don't even want to deceive. I want to see if I like genuinely could pull up like stats based on the little time I saw on the ship. If there's any like I I could tell that engine could can rip it, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, with the... as since you're an engineer, that makes sense. Uh, I rolled a 17. I rolled an 18. All right. Um, that is enough for you to bluff them into thinking that you know what you're talking about, and they agree to join join your crew. It did the run in seven parsecs. I <laughs> totally fast. They're like, oh, yes, parsecs. I've heard those. And then they just walk off. <laughs> they, they, they know where to meet us? They're immediately yeah. recruited. Wait, what's their names? Uh, Seamus. <laughs> uh, one is Seamus. And uh, Barnaby is the other one. Oh, Barnaby. Barnaby. And Barnaby. Reader's almost like disappointed he didn't get to like ask them questions. They just signed up so fast. Yeah. He's happy. And they're like, like hippo guys. They're hippo guys and they have guns, which you've never Brad. really seen before, but they have guns. Lit. Um, can there's my go up to guns right here. <laughs> the barrier who is myself. drinking? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sits down next. Is it a, a, what's the, is it, it doesn't matter. Nejma doesn't care. Um, sits down next to them and asks, hey, what's your name, pal? Um, this is a female Bariar. Red. Um, and she tells you that her name is uh, is a, a green grass. Oh, I love that. Yeah, she says, wow. she says their name is green grass and that she uh, recently lost her mate and is here drinking away her sorrows. Oh man, that's really rough. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Life is bad sometimes. Yeah, she looks at you and she's like, it is bad. I wish that I could find a way to get my mind off of how terrible her death was on a spelljammer ship, because I'll never go on one of those again. Oh. What if, though? <laughs> <laughs> and like, I'm just... I think she'd want you to go on another spell jam. She'd want you to do what you're good at doing, which I'm sure is something fantastic. You guys are horrible people. Yeah. Actually, there's no realizes you know how what? this is and is like, actually, you know what? Now I'll find someone else. But <laughs> as yeah, if you walk away, she's just like, I just needed a friend to talk to. Damn it! Someone Hold on. I, if said... Reader heard this, I have to get involved. I don't know if Reader heard this. <laughs> Somebody in chat just Maybe said, it is so what sad. she would want. Maybe she needs to get back on the horse, you know? <laughs> Nejma looks at that little, like, llama dog and is like, hey, can you, this is really sad, can you howl Despacito for me? <laughs> Someone just said, that's so sad, Saturn play Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> also, I really was triangle. hoping you would have said when she was just like, my partner died, and you just been like, that shit hurt it. That shit hurt it. I'm still working on uh, working in those sorts of 
Thank you. Fourth wall things. I'm not. This I'm not. Vine, I know. Vine jokes I know. for me. Give me like three vine jokes today, uh, Jimmy. But yes, reader, you saw that exchange happen, and it looked like a typical Nejma said something insensitive situation because as Nejma walked away, you saw this this Bariar woman just like start to sob in her hands. Brad, uh, is there anyone else that I? I'm consoling. I'm consoling this woman. I, I do want to add to go, you know, I have found that sometimes getting over a loss, I have also suffered a loss, not to take anything away from yours, Aww. but there is something to going and moving beyond it. And when you're feeling ready for another adventure, because you have to keep living, Fulbright will be ready. And I hand, uh, I hand a flyer to her. Oh, you, you and, roll, and roll me a roll me a persuasion with advantage because you were cool. nice to her. <laughs> I was nice too. I didn't uh, set anyone on fire. Let's see, that one's a 17. Uh, and that's a 18. All right. Uh, that is enough where she looks up to you. She says, thank you so much. Are you part of the crew as well? I am proud to be a, a crew under Captain Miss Will. Uh, Friends. <laughs> yeah, and she'll just ask you the details, and she'll say, "Thank you. Maybe I, maybe I do need to get back on the horse, though. I feel that's a little insensitive, considering that I'm a goat person." And then she leaves. Uh, what is she joining us? Or she, she is joining you. Off? Yeah, you, she's joining. Yeah. You. How many people do we? You've have? done it. You've recruited everyone. Get that widow. Green grass. Green grass. Green grass. Yeah, yeah, she has little oh, motifs yeah. of like of like wavy green grass on her on the side of her hide Love because Bariar decorate themselves with pretty patterns. Nejma really wants. I know we only need ten, but Nejma really wants to recruit someone. <laughs> <laughs> you got the elves the, or the the twins. It was a teamwork. Oh yeah, I guess I got the weird twins. Would you yeah, like to? Set up. Oh, Will, are you trying to steal from people right now? Probably. I mean, when am I not trying to? Steal I've from never people? seen a more enabling DM. Like, hey, by the way, you haven't stolen in like half an hour. You yeah, I'm just in? check. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Um, because you you go into a drunk pa uh, find a drunk patron and start trying to steal from them after flirting with them or whatever you plan on doing, and um, you. I love this. She's doing all the work for me. I know. Well, I figured that you were you were, you were quiet, which I knew you were probably stealing something. Yeah. Um, so you find a statue of Baphomet. Oh. Which is the okay. uh, Satan. You find a, someone has a statue of Satan. Yeah. And, cool. Can I have that? <laughs> uh, can I have it? Can I have it? Well, <laughs> I mean. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. I okay. I like you here. The, the present. That's this is how friendship capital works, right? I think so. I'm easily bought. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. You can have it. Oh, I love this ugly, scary goat monster. I feel better now. Thank you. You're welcome. I I think I feel better too. Oh, good. <laughs> Reader just watches, going, yes. <laughs> they're, they're, they're learning. Kind of. uh, so yeah, so you've recruited enough people. You're in the end. You're still drinking. Is there anything you want to do before you head back to your ship, or anything you want to do in this marketplace, or it is totally up to you guys? I, mm. I think I tell, I at least tell the dog innkeeper or barkeep that that one orc uh, killed that pig man, but also he's part of our crew, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, yeah, you notice that he's actually gone. He might be tending to some business, and he's left a strange figure of himself with a bobblehead in his place. Oh, interesting. I take it. It's on yeah. the. It's on the ogre. All you the go. more challenge. <laughs> that what face. Do you mean it's on I don't like, care. Instead of he was sitting on his shoulder, so now there's a there's a figure of him on the ogre's shoulder. Like he might have needed to to step out for a bit. Can I place something of equal weight on the ogre's shoulder from behind so I he mean, doesn't know that I've taken the statue? Yes. Like Indiana Jones. I'm rolling for sleight of hand, I assume? Yeah. 24. Yep, that's that's enough. That's enough to do it. So you <laughs> you switch the how about you switch the uh the cat plush that you got 
Do you want to okay. switch? Okay, you switch the cat plush for this uh, small uh, Chihuahua bobblehead with a bell on it. It's not a Funko Pop, right? Does no. it? If you squeeze its stomach, does it say "Yo quiero Taco Bell"? Uh, it does. It does. Thought so. And she's like, "What could that mean?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> the stream is brought to you by Pizza Hut. <laughs> Um, AFC, A N W. Uh, right. Do you squeeze I want it? Want all of those right now? <laughs> Did you squeeze? If you squeeze it more than once, yeah. When you squeeze it again, it says, "I can help you find what you're looking for." Oh shit! What? We all hear that. Mm -hmm. She squeezes so it fun. again. <laughs> she says, "Thank you for taking me, Will. Take me with you." Uh, okay. Squeeze. <laughs> and it just says, Yo quiero Taco Bell. Is, what is it? What can it mean? You guys, Yo quiero Taco Bell. What? It must be a clue. It's, it's some sort of strange language. That maybe it's draconic. I don't, I've never heard this language before. I, wait, do I at all connect Taco Bell to the visions we've seen in Sigil? Uh, roll me a history. Check to see if you put the two pieces together. Because we definitely don't know what tacos are, no. probably. But That's we would know what a bell is. That is enough. You've seen this bell before. You think it might have been a sign. I I think the dog is trying to help us. Cool. She, like, holds it up in front of her to try to, like, see if it does anything. It Only when you squeeze it does it. And, and now it's just repeating what it said before. It's not. It hasn't said anything to you in a while. But Perhaps, well, it's really yeah. annoying if you keep doing it. I guess we're like on the right track, and she does. She keeps doing it. Yo quiero, yo quiero, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo quiero yeah. taco bell. Yo quiero, yo quiero. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, everyone in the inn is is looking at you. I think it's really annoying. Even the ogre, who now notices you took his toy. I was far enough away. <laughs> were you? I would not have been doing that. I assumed we had an understanding that, of course, Will would not be playing openly with a toy she just stole in front of someone. Were, were you? <laughs> I suggest we leave this bar quickly. Yeah. He All was... right. Bye. <laughs> oh man. All right. So you you beat cheeks out of um out of the spire back into the marketplace. Is there anything else you'd like to do in the marketplace before you board your ship? Mm -hmm. uh, do we need to like resupply or anything? Yeah, like do we need sails? We know the ship runs on. Um, yeah, or... you figure that the crew that you've hired and Lily would have taken care of that, and you know you hired a cook, which was the tortle Samson. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you could you do have the map that you found in Mason's note. You might be able to ask a cartographer where that goes, or maybe talk to Lily about it. Uh, Captain Will, perhaps some books for the journey. You know. Uh... Man can't survive on food alone. They require knowledge. I mean, if you need them, sure. Any 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 good books on the way? See any like booksellers? Yeah, you do see a couple of booksellers. Um, you don't recognize a lot of the information in the books because these are very alien planar books. But you can easily find one on the workings and mechanics of astral spell jamming ships. And I would love to purchase that. Um, yeah, you can purchase it for 10 gold from from uh, one of the shopkeeps. I'll give you 11. That they no reader, that's take not it, how it works. and they thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have you have a book on how the ship you can only assume works. Okay. I immediately start reading it as I walk towards the ship. Yeah. It's uh yeah, the 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 workings and one whatever I said before and by the author Bezel Bump Bumple Stump. <laughs> Are there any books on being possessed by a fire demon? Just I just Nejma just wants to take a real quick browse. Um let me see. I don't think so. You're not seeing any in any infernal and or demonic tomes or anything related to uh fire primordials here. Does Saturn see anything on how to uh you know, maybe just lift potential curses down the line. <laughs> um, do you ask the the uh, the bookkeeper? There's just a, a, an elderly yeah, man like, with a long... Kinda, but like, kind of keep his voice down like, hey, 
you have anything maybe on reverse and curses? Um, so he's an elderly man with bad hearing. He says, would you like to reverse a curse? Very loudly. And he's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he goes, it's, it's in section C! And he, he points to around the corner of a large bookshelf that's carved into part of the hand. Cool, thanks. And <laughs> love being discreet about <laughs> things. I, I, I gotta think that if I heard, honestly, if I heard anyone else in my crew ask about books, I came immediately back to, to help let them look for books. Yeah, and you I definitely like heard find... this old man yelling about curses. I would like to find a Harlequin romance novel. Oh yeah, those are easy. There's tons of those. Yeah, I'm just gonna like take a bunch of them and just like plop a handful of money. And be like yeah. this, I uh, will get me through. This yeah, journey. yeah, you're 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 good. You're good. You can take those. You can put them in your inventory. You can make up well, names for them too. While Saturn's looking, I think I want to like overly helpful in over shoulder. Like, is there any? Ooh, ooh, what are you buying? A book is a is a fun adventure. Yeah, it's uh, Saturn's face is like dead. <laughs> um, Saturn, you don't find anything that would indicate curse breaking. You do find a few, a few books on, on uh, demons and things like that, which might give you an indication of the types okay. of curses, but nothing that can break a curse. But you could well, do some research. Uh, I would like to, uh check out some of the books about demons. Yeah, give me a perception or a perception check as you go through these okay. books. Uh, 14 plus two, that's 16. Uh, as you're going through the shelves, you do see a book that kind of calls out to you in a way. It's it's written in Infernal, which you know is a uh, the language of devils but you think that it might be okay. a book on how to defeat demons. Okay. Yes, yeah, Saturn wants that book. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you bring it to the old man, he's like, oh, that's an expensive and dangerous book. I'll I'm take- I'm an expensive and dangerous guy. <laughs> how much I got to pay you, pal? I'll take 50 gold. Saturn is a luxury few can afford. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can I try and persuade him to give me a discount? Yes. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, that's a four plus six is ten. He's like, no, no, I have a lot of cats to feed. <laughs> okay. Um, how much money do I have? I have that. Uh, you have lots of money. You should be able to afford it. Okay, tight buying it. All, All right. I'm like fine. I'll okay, yeah. As you touch, as you gold. exchange the gold and it becomes yours, you feel that it's almost a little warm to the touch, and the skin on the outside might be human. Good okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, that's terrifying. Uh, Saturn's just like patting it, just like. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh. reader, you see Saturn come back with this book that does not look like it has good stories in it at all. I, I go interest. You have to you have to tell me how that one is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> re real quick, I asked the man if there's like any children's adventure books or anything, like any any YA novels. Um, he, he's, he doesn't know what you're talking about. He's like, what? No, no. Everything here is, is, is only good for pirates and people that, that like Harlequin novels and demons. Mm. I love Harlequin novels. Uh, Saturn is going to try and find like a, a place kind of away from the group for a sec to like take a peek inside the book, just to like flip around through it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's all in a language you can't read right now. Okay. So you, as long as you can find someone who might be able to read it, maybe someone who's familiar with Infernal. Um, okay. Alrighty. Yeah. So you all make your way back to the ship after buying books and doing things like that. And you find your crew all lined up and waiting for you with Lily there. And Lily says, oh, your, your new crew would, uh, would, would, uh, like some words of advice before we, uh, set sail. Uh, Captain Will will like clasp her hands behind her back and she starts, you know, pacing the line and looking them up and down and she takes some deep breaths. She says, "You. You are the few 
the chosen. And you know now the stakes. You know now your purpose. And you know now your master. And I will not let you down because you will not let me down. As we journey into this adventure together, I know that you will find not only riches beyond your wildest dreams, not only fame, not only deep fulfillment, not only whatever else it is you want, <laughs> but you will find- When you say that, uh, Gab Scarter tells, ale! You will find ale, <laughs> yes. And you will find me there to help and <laughs> guide you. Yeah, they they and all that's what's most important. They all cheer like Whoa! they 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 love your speech. They they think that you're the best captain to have ever ever never sailed the astral plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I am I'm tough but fair. I expect a lot of you. I expect that I will not have to coddle you, you know? Uh so get to work. Uh all right, yeah. They they disperse and uh that's where we'll stop. Oh man, what an inspiring moment! Hey Holly, before and we stop, can uh, can Nejma like saddle up to Saturn and be like, "Hey, let's talk." Yeah, <laughs> that's Saturn's face. He's just like, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and uh, and Will, you also get inspiration for your speech. Oh, the good speech, Bront. It was a good speech. That's pretty good. I didn't even make Thanks. you roll for it. I was like, "This is too good. You just get it." It was great. I'm writing that down so I don't forget. I'm um, definitely loyal to the ship. Yeah. Well, now you guys are a pirate crew. How exciting is that? Nate's leg and everything. Nate went on Great tour, thing. so you got to be pirates. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's find the ship. Wait, I think at the very end, as soon as you say pirates, reader goes, wait, we're pirates? Like, <laughs> the baddies. Are we the baddies? <laughs> are we the baddies? Um, yay. All right, well, let's great. go around and do our stuff. Let's start with Hadil. Hey, it's me, Hadil, your friend. You can find me on Twitter at TwittySuch, T-W-I-T-T-Y-S-U-C-H. Um, I play on this channel. And then on Sundays, me and Holly play an all-tiefling game called Hell's Bells. And that's from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific time um, on Saturdays. Sometimes I stream uh, cute uh, games for pals. Um, and you can find me on Instagram as well. I've been posting there a lot. And um, my friend Kayla, and Holly's friend Kayla, everybody's friend Kayla, <laughs> and I have um, a Patreon where you can buy our uh, NPCs and magical items for your D&D game at home called Bramblefoot Adventures. It's patreon.com slash Bramblefoot Adventures. And if you're going to Nate's show in Seattle tomorrow, I will be there. Yay. So you can come and wave at oh, me. Oh, dang. Aww. Hi. Yes, because it's right next to my house. <laughs> moving out of. So we're going to go and see our friends. Yay. IRL. And then come say hi to me at PAX. The end. You you pick the next person. It's you. It's all you. Oh, yeah. It's me. Uh, I'm, it's like, uh, I'll do Anna because you're right under me on our screen. I play Dungeons and Dragons also on this same channel on Tuesdays from four to six PM Pacific with Holly and I'm there too. other people. Mm -hmm. And it's a fun game, and I hope you'll come watch. And uh, right now I'm in Nashville because I'm hosting the World Championships of Pokemon. And so if you're oh. a Pokemon fan of either the trading card game or the video game, check out Pokemon.com or uh, the front page of Twitch because it's going to be all over that. Um, and I'll be on like all the streams intermittently. So if you don't see me, it's because I'm running back and forth between them. And then um, coming up next weekend <laughs> is PAX West and the Waffle Crew for Dice Camera Action will be there doing... Um, all kinds, three different all signings. All kinds. All kinds of three signings. Three signings. Uh, we have signings Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So hopefully you can make one of those. Two of them will be with Idol Champions on Saturday and Sunday, and one will be official packs on Friday, I think. Uh, yes. And then we also have an Ask the Waffle Crew Anything panel on Friday, and I believe a couple other things that have yet to be announced. Um, so tune in on stream or check us out at PAX. Yay! Whoops. Your turn, Anna. Oh, 
Uh, I choose Jimmy. Hi. Uh, I'm Jimmy Wetzel. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch. I stream. Um, I haven't streamed in a while because my computer has been broken, as has my brain. Uh, so <laughs> I'm Jimmy. I'm just meant. I'm just. I got issues. So I haven't been streaming, uh, but I'll be trying to figure out how to stream from the mobile app. Uh, and I'm probably just gonna like talk and make tea and box mac and cheese and talk about how I don't like myself. Anyway, so tune in. It'll be a good time. And Chad, go. <laughs> uh, I love you, Jimmy. Uh, nice. Hello, I am Chad. I'm sorry I missed the last few games. I've been working real hard on this cartoon because I write for cartoons. Um, I write for Troll Hunters on Netflix and Unikitty on Cartoon Network. And there's a bunch of new episodes of Unikitty coming out all the time. Uh, I think Hide and Seek, this new episode that I wrote, came out on Friday. Check it out on all your streaming services. Uh, I also do a podcast about Goosebumps called Goosebuds. You can find it online, Goosebuds, everything. And uh, I'm on all internet, social media as uh, Quantum Theory. That's my name in my handle. And uh, that's my life. Holly. Yay. Hello, everyone. Anna already said most of the stuff that I do anyway, but I also do Hell's Bells on Sunday, which I'll be gone this Sunday, but Hadil should be there, so go support that um, and everything at PAX. I will be on Acquisitions, Inc. at PAX, so if you're there for Yay. the show, come see me. Uh, hopefully uh, asked and not forced to join the crew of Acquisitions Incorporated, so I will see you all there. And I believe that is it. So, oh, and I also stream, well, pretty much until PAX, my whole schedule is messed up. So whatever, it's fine. I'll see you at PAX. All right, but thank you all so much for coming. Um, and thank you mods, as always, for modding the chat. And thank you for everyone for taking the time out of your day to be in my silly game with constant fast food references, which I promise one day we'll have a payoff, maybe. <laughs> hey, oh, an amazing um, game. Are we going to stream Bell? next Thursday? No, next Thursday okay. is PAX. So we will be gone next Thursday because of PAX. And then we will hopefully, I think we will be back um, the next Thursday. So, okay. All right. Actually, that's something that I should mention. Uh, if you think that Waffle Crew will be canceled on Tuesday after PAX, you're wrong. And I can't tell you anything about that episode, but it might be special. Oh. oh. Wait, I don't know this. <laughs> Why is it special? <laughs> you do we'll too. To I sent you a schedule. Oh no, you did. I'm sorry. I do know that. Oh wow. Well, I don't, well this is just. <laughs> Bye everyone. I unplugged my headphones. Whatever. I can't hear you. I'm gonna plug them in now. So, <laughs> anyway, everyone have a lovely evening. Take care of yourselves. Okay, I can hear you now. And uh, we will see you next time. Goodbye.